This repair kit works for many different TV model numbers. We have included a full list of those model numbers in the video description. This repair kit will fix the following symptoms. If your TV audio does not work on any of the inputs. If your TV turns on briefly, has no video on the screen, and then shuts off, and then comes back on, and then shuts off and repeats those steps over and over again. If your TV does not turn on, and if the red power LED blinks continuously. The large chip in the image is the audio chip that fixes the audio input problems. The other integrated circuit and capacitor repair the other symptoms that we just described. There are three different components that we will replace on this board. Two of the components are on the back side of the board, and one component is on the front. I will start by replacing the audio chip first. I will begin by using my tweezers and a heat gun to remove this chip. I start by applying heat to the center of the chip as there is a center pad underneath the chip. I will also apply heat to the legs to loosen the chip. I use my tweezers to grab the legs and feel if the chip is loose. After it is loose then I will pull the chip from the board. I will then clean the pads using solder wick and my solder iron. I place the solder wick onto the board and then apply pressure using my solder iron. The solder wick will suck up the existing solder that is on the board. Next I will put a few dabs of solder paste onto the pad. Then place the chip on the pad and get it lined up with the legs on the pads. After I have the chip in place, I will use the heat gun to melt the solder paste and adhere the chip to the board. I am holding the heat gun a little bit higher above the chip because if I was too close, it may cause the chip to move. I will now solder the legs that are on the chip. I start by applying solder flux onto one side of the chip that you will solder first. Then I will add a little bit of solder onto my iron and run the iron tip over the legs. I will rotate the board and then use the same process on the other side of the chip to solder the legs to the board. If you have any solder bridges between the legs, you can use the solder wick and iron to remove the solder and start over again. I will use some rubbing alcohol and a brush to clean up the audio chip. Typically when I clean a component I use a q-tip. The legs on this chip are so close together that it will be better to use a brush. Now that we have replaced the audio chip, I can replace the other two components on the back of the board. Once again, I will use my heat gun and tweezers to remove the components from the board.
After I've removed the components, I will use my solder wick and my iron to remove the remaining solder from the board. Next I will add solder paste to the following pads as shown in the video. Then I will place the components on the board using my tweezers. For this component I will use my tweezers to guide it into place. As the solder paste heats up, you will see the component shift into place on the board. For the last component, I will begin heating up the center pad under this chip to melt the solder paste and adhere the chip to the board. Next I will solder this chip to the board. I will put some solder flux onto the legs of this component and then put a little bit of solder onto my iron and run the tip of my iron over the legs. Then I will do the same thing on the other side of the chip. After I have soldered the chip to the board, I will clean it up by using some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. And we have successfully replaced the three components on this board. Your board is now ready to be reinstalled back into the TV. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.